Meridiassa. Ah, okei. Okay. So Meridia Shrine, this was on the in the Oblivion as well. That's a lynx. So Sangvine's Shrine and Meridia Shrine are here. Inter interesting. Collection Beast Core came after us. Should have been more prepared. The ruins of Sion lie within this cave. Let's proceed with caution. These ruins sound dangerous. We should be prepared for trouble, friend. An unknown ruin filled with potential perils? I'm excited already. He's crazy. Interloper Harmony on yli 52 vuotta vanha. 19000 päivää romane Broken Railroadin alueella. Wow. That's that's pretty good. Stay alert, comrade. Okay, that doesn't look good. Hey, 
let's follow these other other players here. Okay, that's a big boom. boom. Okay, sl slightly more relaxing play play this than you <laughs> bought. to explore these ruins. Crazy Bosmer. Hmm. Okay, again. Okay, what's happening? Okay, so they have some kind of tag team here. Just need to break it down to the smallest pieces. Oh no. Okay, I need some healing. Lots of class. I mean, lo lots. I'd be mad if I went out like that. An excellent battle. Gather a fragment of the Titan, and we can return to the others. Friends, we need to get out of here. Tears are opening up throughout the ruins. We you barely made shoot. it here to warn you. I wouldn't be there. You dispatched that creature. I'm impressed. No matter how many times I assist you or Laramil, I don't think I'll ever get used to all the Daedra. 
What's hap- I warned you against interfering, mortal, but you refused to heed me. A reality tear? How fortuitous. Let this be the end of fate's chosen. Friend, look out! Okay, get in, it's somewhere. He's... gone. Mourn later. We must get this fragment back to the others. Okay, that's that's not good. Maybe? Nothing like this has ever been attempted. It has to work, Scrooge. There are no other options. Ah, here comes our proxy. Where is Gidain? I see you and our allies have returned safely with a fragment of the Miramore Titan. But where is Curate Gidain? No. That cannot be. He had my amulet. And you were there. And Baragon. And Tribunalea. There must be some mistake. Gadain. He cannot be gone. So, I'm sorry, Laramon. There was nothing I could do. I... I understand, Proxy. Please leave me for a moment. Talk to Scrooge. I... I must process this news. Mortals die. That's literally the meaning of the word. I'll never understand your transient emotions. <sighs> Whatever. We all face non-existence if we don't do something about Athelia and the reality tears. You secured the fragment? Hmm. Definitely part of an ancient Miramore Titan. It should serve nicely as the focal point of the ritual Laramil and I developed. As soon as she collects herself, Laramil will guide you through the process. No. This is something that you and Laramil need to do together. Your fate's chosen. And she's a magic user who can see the threads of fate. I'm just a watchling with delusions of grandeur and a bad attitude. Yeah. Laramil will help you. She has to. Scrooge is correct. This falls to you and me, Proxy. Place the fragment in the center of the ritual circle. Excellent. Now place a bolisher, the lamp of clarity, and the skein of secrets around the fragment. Now, Susan, join your power to mine and we shall align the threads of fate with the ritual. It is done. We have created a mirror of truth. It really worked? Huh. Maybe we do have a chance. Come, Mirror Proxy. of Truth. We must speak. Despite the loss of Curate Cadane, you recovered a fragment filled with the essence of Miramore, and we successfully created a new relic, the Mirror of Truth. A time to mourn shall come later, provided we stop Athelia and reality survives. Okay, so it's this easy. Yes, he most definitely would. I can see the threads of fate coalescing to a point. We near the end of this path and whatever awaits us. You have done well as fate's chosen. Take this reward and gather yourself. I shall do the same. Athelia has become the threat that Hermaeus Mora foresaw, racing to Apocrypha to take the realm as her own. And with each passing moment, reality breaks down a little more. Time grows ever shorter, Proxy. You restore the original relics used to capture and imprison Athelia. And we created the Mirror of Truth to try to show her the monster she has become. All we need to do now is travel to Apocrypha and locate her. Apocrypha, like all Oblivion realms, is infinite. But we have the skein of secrets. I shall open a portal. Use the skein once we cross into the realm and see if it can pinpoint Athelia's location. Okay, so... Oblivion Realms are infinite, but Pocket Realms were not. Okay, interesting. Gather the relics, Proxy. We should have need of them.
I shall open a portal to Apocrypha. Once there, use the skein and let us see if we can pick up Athelia's trail. Okay, this is gearing up towards the end battle of s some kind, but I wonder what happens, because now the Dead Prince is actually added to the lore, I don't think they are going to take it away. We knew that there were 80, 18 Dead Princes and only like 17 but were mentioned in previous games, so they can't re remove the, her from the lore anymore. Do you feel it? Like thousands of aggravating dade mites crawling across my tentacles. There is definitely something not right here in Apocrypha. Hurry up and use the skein. Okay, it's in the middle of the... That path leads to the forbidden parts of the realm. Okay. Another way to reach the mythos, perhaps. Um Whispered path. I have heard whispers of paths such as this. They can be found throughout Apocrypha. Press on, Proxy. Wasn't the part of the what we saw in Skyrim of Apocrypha Very that was some kind of special place as well? And her scion have breached my private sanctum. Enter the mythos and aid the one who knows. The one who knows needs us, Proxy. Mora could not portal us closer to the energy now contained in Athelia. But look what her very presence does to Apocrypha. We must hurry. She said that she would be like... Do something nasty to the Apocrypha. So we could... Okay. At least eat something. Should keep you on your toes a while. But the path should the light of the lamp unveil the way. Latest um, expansions have uh, had like these cool, cool effects. So, uh, 
What is this? Marks of Mirror More. Okay, so they were a portal from the Apocrypha to Mirror More. I will transform this realm and make it his tomb! Set words in place, my son. Fate's minions must not be allowed to interfere. Yes, my prince. None shall find the wards. We must locate those hidden wards, Proxy. Perhaps the skein of secrets can serve us here. The skein indicates that the wards are somewhere above. Look for a passage leading up. Ah. Can we get to the... Is this a jumping puzzle? Stairway. Stairway here, so... No jumping puzzle. Okay. Some defenses still work. See what happens. Okay, they have, have become the very threat I foresaw. A few only a threat. Her Hermes Mora is in the box. <laughs> Can you not see? Reality collapses around you as fate's threads unravel. Your reality fates here. Not mine! Witness the ascension of the Prince of Paz to her rightful place of power! Keep draining Mora! Okay, defeat Ithelia. With, with pleasure, my prince. Okay. Not good. I am the I am the Unbeaver. I am the last path you will ever walk! Okay, evil woman. Last night isn't as okay. You need healing.
I will restore what was lost, mortal. I must. Actually, mortals are pretty badass in Elder Scrolls. I cannot be undone by a mortal. Use the Mirror of Truth. Okay, how? Mirror of Truth, use. Gun that needs to be aimed. What is this heresy? <laughs> okay. What? What did I see? Mortal, tell me what this means. That mirror. It showed me the truth. I have become the monster that Mora predicted. And I remember. I saw it, too. As Mora sealed my prison all those eons ago, I realized at the end... He was right. I am the last tomorrow. It was what Mora saw when he examined my threads of fate that I would become the Unweaver, the destroyer of reality. In that last moment, as the door to my prison slammed shut and my memories frayed, <laughs> I saw it too. But it was too late. Because I had already set the compulsion in Torvasard's mind. I had already unspooled the thread to freedom. Now your actions have brought me a moment of clarity. But it will not last. Already I feel the power, the madness reasserting itself. A nice thought. But I am Daedra. I cannot change. And once the madness comes upon me, I doubt you will be able to contain me again. Forgotten memories and near limitless power blinded me. It led us exactly to the moment in time Mora feared. <laughs> but a player can ask uh, stupid questions. Not while the power of the loom and the energy I took from Hermaeus Mora flows through me. I must shed this power once and for all. Only then can the growing madness be quelled. So Daedric Prince can shed the power. Voluntary sundering. Right. I am a danger to faith and reality. Let me return what is rightfully yours. You are surrendering. Abandoning our sacred quest. No! We are too close. I claim the power. I will finish this. Okay. Okay, another boss fight. I have been waiting for this. It seems we are fated to fight. Face me, mortal. Don't 
Okay, that's not good. So he's throwing our, us around. Use the portal to help Baragon. Use the port. Oh, okay. Here's the portal. Full of sentinel. Ah, that was Scrooge's power from the last uh, expansion. You agitate me to no end. That's our Arcodian, not anything else. Okay, let's do this. Veracon is pretty badass postman. He's facing up with the Daedric Lord for a while. All by himself, so. Yeah, have a tentacle. Manticora. Ok, 
Okay, but what happened? Witness the combined power of the fate changer and the master of fate. Okay, that's not. Doesn't sound healthy. Ah, uh, get that a big door, sir. Okay, destroy the smaller mooks first, and then. Basically the same battle than in the end of the Deadlands. And not Deadlands, good. Necrom deal. Very unhealthy place. Let's take the solo sentinel down first. Ah, no, no, he's... Now we, we can hit Torvazar. He's not shielded. created my scions to save me from a fate I finally accepted. Though I had forgotten until you reminded me. No, my prince. I am Dramora. I am eternal. I will reform and complete the task you set before me. Such is the nature of Daedra. Never changing, never growing. I return your power to you, Mora. And I disperse mine into the void. And Torvasad, my most faithful. I consign your essence to nothingness. Okay. Never to return. So Daedra can destroy In their peace. underlings forever. Poor Torvasad. Blinded by a compulsion I never should have bestowed. Fate's chosen has accomplished the tasks I set before them. Now, let us enter the portal and conclude this heinous business. Your prison awaits, Ethelia. Let us enter Athelia's prison and finish this once and for all. Use the portal. If I survive to tell her this story, my little sister will never believe it. Athelia, it is time to resume your imprisonment. To what end? As long as I remain in this reality, the threat I pose persists. My power will always find a way to return to me. Such is the nature of our princely dispositions. The threads of fate agree with you, but what choice do we have? You are Daedra, immortal forever. I see no other path before us. 
Our natures confound us. We need a different perspective. One you so elegantly provided. Mortal, let us speak. My very nature makes returning me to prison a temporary reprieve at best. My power will always find a way back to me. And with it? The threat of the madness that overcomes me and can unravel reality. Mortal, talk with me more about change. Mortal change all the time and be so different versions of you into many paths. Yes, my reflections. When we walked the many paths at the Outcast Inn, we visited realities where things had gone another way. I am different in those realities. But that is not choice. That is consequence. The aftermath of alternate events. The many paths lead everywhere. Other places, other possibilities, parallel realities. You can go anywhere. If you can just find the path. If the threat of the reality comes to you from your power, what about some place when there's no power? No power? A path where Daedra and Magicka do not exist? Hmm. It would need to be a place where my Daedric power held no sway and could gain no foothold. I feel the tendrils of my discarded power searching, reaching toward me. We must hurry, mortal. Indeed. Hermaeus Mora can find an acceptable path and I can show him how to open the way. And then we would need you to use Abolisher. To destroy the path. So that I could never return to this reality. Ask Mora if this will suffice. That's mighty interesting idea. You are deep in conversation with the Prince of Paths. What do your mortal eyes see that elude my Daedric senses? A path that is better than the solution I devised so long ago? Inconceivable. Do not overstep your bounds, mortal. Do not use my own words against me. Still, you are correct in that regard. Very well chosen of fate. What do you suggest we do with Ethelia to preserve our reality? I think we learned in a... In, in a... Deadlands DLC. Fargrave is that there actually are uh, oblivion realms that do not have a magicka. Leave this reality for a realm where she would have no access to her Daedric power? I had not considered that. <laughs> yeah. I would need to confirm that the reality guarantees our safety, but how will we make certain that she would indeed be exiled forever? What say you, Prince of Paths? Will you accept eternal banishment in a realm where your power does not exist? I accept that fate, Hermaeus Mora. Then allow me to turn my gaze upon the many paths to find a worthy reality. And allow me to show you how to open that path. Well, I still have the will to do so. Uh, it's a combination of the Hermes Mora and portal Mora. Italia Portal. Now Wait. We lost a good friend to one of the reality tears. Ah. <laughs> Is there anything that... What are you doing? The tears were not my creation. Only an effect of my passing. All I can offer is this wisdom to ease your mind. Okay. Now, you have shown we who are called Daedric Princes that there are always possibilities, 
even for us. <laughs> Farewell, mortal. Daedric princes can take different shapes. Has walked the path to an exile. Take Boethia's blade and destroy the portal. Cut off the path so that she may never return. Now, leave this place, mortals. And understand that you go with the gratitude of the one who knows. There is nothing more to do in this place, mortal. Mora's portal shall return us to Baragon's townhouse. I sense he has already sent our allies there. Interesting. What did Ithelia give? Let our meal. So, okay, so she's banished in the place that ha doesn't have a magica. Um, I don't think it's like a be all and all uh, solution either. Okay, the prison was like temporary solution, but this this might have like unintended consequences. Well. In the end, Ithelia will come back when when Pedesta wants, wants her Achilles to come back. is gone, no longer a threat. But Proxy, we should speak. It appears we have done it, Proxy. Athelia is no longer a threat to our reality. Your solution was not what I expected, and even Hermaeus Mora was surprised. But I suppose that was why he selected you as fate's chosen in the first place. Athelia is gone and can never return. But the damage she caused to reality may still be a concern. For the moment, let us reflect on what this victory has cost us. And take this reward in recognition of your efforts. The one who knows insists. Skill style, nice. Mortal, the Great Eye requires one last task before your contract expires. Along with everything else. Athelia exiled, Torvasar defeated, but the danger to existence persists. The tears in the fabric of reality. We need to repair them. How? Oh, I suggested a needle and thread, but my master has a different solution. So he sent me to find you. Again. Now, much of this is beyond me. But the Great Eye said you need to take the three relics that were used to defeat Athelia and place them near tears and nexus points in the fabric of reality. That should restore the frayed threads of fate. Well, no. You also need to cast a spell to release each relic's energy and send it flowing into the fabric of reality. Here's the spell scroll. And you'll need help, so I'll send one of us to each location to assist you. My tasks never end. Ugh. I'll mark your map. The locations where you need to place the relics are in Westweald, the Telvanni Peninsula, and Apocrypha. Look for one of your allies when you get to each spot. And make sure to bring the scroll and relics. Mortals. I think it must be your pitifully finite existences that make you so impatient. The threads of fate weave through the fabric of reality in complex and very specific patterns. To repair the tears, you must match that inestimable precision. The reasons are unfathomable to the limitations of your mortal mind. But I'll try to explain. Through the machinations of Torvasard and Vargas, and the presence of Athelia, the tears at these specific locations resonate throughout the realms. Exactly! <laughs> Remember, the relics were created specifically to thwart Athelia's power. The energy they contain once released by the casting of the spell should restore the fabric of reality, keeping it from unraveling and repairing it. In theory. <laughs> In theory. One moment, Proxy. Okay. The plan Scrooge has brought us sounds tenuous, but we must put our faith in the one who knows. Even with Athelia gone, the tears ripped in the fabric of reality shall continue to spread, like pulling on a loose thread until your tunic unravels. 
The tears occurred unnaturally, so it is unlikely they will heal without help. If the plan provided by Hermaeus Mora works and the fabric of reality is repaired, then I can use the wisdom Athelia gave me to try to set one last thing to rights. Yes, she allowed me to briefly experience the possibilities of the many paths. Gadain still exists somewhere, I think. If there is a chance, hope is not something I usually put stock in. But Gadain believed in faith. How could I do less? That does not make the threat or the danger it presents any less real. Apocrypha and the Mundus both are built atop endless metaphors. Now, we have a plan to carry out, I believe. Of course, but perhaps not how you expect. I shall work from here to help stitch the threads of fate back together as you place the relics and cast the spell. Here, take the relics. You will need them for the task ahead. The relics, Mora's spell, and my magic together shall help you repair reality, Proxy. Scroot, Tribune Alea, and I will meet you at the sites, friend. Come, mortal. Let's finish this so I can get back to my usual boring routine. energy. It actually worked. Okay, so we just leave that here. Haha. <laughs> Tentacle plans. Here, comrade. This is the spot Scroot indicated. I stand ready to assist you, comrade. Pharaoh's Cavern. Okay. Here we go. So this is basically a, just a chore. Not anything else. So this is the tier that actually saw out the one, one guy. I think it w Here, friend. This is the cave that Scrooge indicated. Delam's Cavern. I think that did it. Relic, right? Let's head back to my townhouse and meet up with the other. Comrade, Baragon waits for you upstairs on the balcony. Go talk to him. Go on, comrade. You'll find that. Of allies here. Don't look so surprised, comrade. The people of the Weald know how to throw a celebration. <laughs> we did good work, but I can't imagine what would have happened without your involvement. So, allow us to sing your praises. You deserve it. Sure, I helped, but I was doing my duty. I serve count and country. You have no vested interest in Westfield. But still, you risked everything to save us. And you figured out how to exile Athelia. That's impressive from where I'm standing, comrade. 
this is uh, this kind of scene is actually uh, in many other other expansions. Hero of the moment. Well, no. this is a fine brouhaha, isn't it? Undead Delvani mage. <laughs> Now, this is a celebration that's more to my liking. Plus, it's good. Ha! Ah, my friend! I've been hearing about your exploits beyond what we did at Valente Vineyards. You banished a forgotten Daedric prince. How fascinating. The Arcanist also mentioned something about preserving reality, but I assume that was hyperbole. Oh, I certainly hope so. I must return to Castle Ravenwatch and report on the events at the Valente Vineyards. But before I do, I want to help Ursilia get everything sorted. I owe her that much. If you ever need me, send word and I'll be there. Uh -huh. Okay. Feldegard Keep still stands, thanks to you. I'd like to find a way to remove the taint those recollection dogs left in the barracks. Daedric magic is foul. And the stink of Miramore is fouler still. As secure as it can be in this fouled up world. Oh, there are recollection stragglers to drive off. And Count Calantius needs to finalize diplomatic relations with Vashabar. But we'll be all right. Plen and I were just talking about you. If you hadn't come to the village, we would never have gone through the right. And now look at us. Assisting but box. the green speaker <laughs> yeah, with box negotiations. In the but to be honest, we're still working through what Nantharian's betrayal means to the village. How to reconcile followers of the Dawnway with our Green Pact faithful. May the singer listen. I hope Clen and I can help with that. Sun and Roots willing. We'll be married before the next crisis comes along. Just as soon as we help the green speaker finalize negotiations with the Count. Damn me if it doesn't, Traveller. But I think things just may work out. I can't believe the Green Speaker selected us to join her in Skingrad. I guess it's because you helped us with our betrothal. Thanks again for that, by the way. <laughs> Still not sure about a wood elf living in a structure that wasn't grown, though. Not yet. We want to see how the talks between the Green Speaker and the Count work out. Laney doesn't want our celebration to get lost in the brambles, should relations between Dawnwood and the rest of the wheel take a turn for the worse. Soon, though. I don't like the way your fellow mortals stare at me. <laughs> I wonder I why. I think they'd never seen an emissary of the Great Eye before. So help me, the next one who squeaks in terror will get something that really scares them. Talk to Baragon. He asked first. Tribune Alea ordered me to attend your party. Messenger, party goer, it's degrading. Well, now that we're done with your heroics, maybe I can get back to being a soldier again. Wouldn't that be nice? We are sure we won, right? <laughs> right. The rot has been culled from Vashabar thanks to you. I only hope that Nantharian's mad plan was due to the influence of this forgotten Daedric prince, Athelia, and not the philosophy of the Dawnway. Vashabar has enough problems remaining as it is. Far better than I anticipated. I think in no small part thanks to you, Beragon, and Tribune Alea. The Count is a fair, if tough, negotiator, but he understands that Nantharian and the Recollection are not Vashabar. Which is why I have promised our green speakers will help heal the area of devastation. As for the new forest, those roots cannot be returned to their seeds. Vashabar will be a good neighbor, though. On that, you have my word. Deputy, good to see you. I'm surprised you didn't ask for a larger salary, considering what I now know of your reputation. I'm glad to see you were able to help all of Westfield, not just solve my problems in Antis. Now, I haven't settled one way or another, but there's still a lot I need to do. So I'll remain constable for a little while longer. Whatever I decide, Antis will be better off without the Baron and Lady Raxley putting elixirs in the food supply. Yeah. <laughs>
dog petting, petting simulator. Hello, Walker. One needs not be as perceptive as music thunderbolts to see all the good you have done for Westfield. But this one is curious about the recollection. The group's origins <laughs> sound like a mystery. Music should pursue next. He's late. Music hopes so. This one intends to stay in Westfield for a while longer. There are many here that could benefit from Mizik's deductive skills. Of course, this one must make do without your assistance, sadly. <laughs> Hopefully our paths will cross again. I hope you don't mind, but we crashed your party. A friendly legionary mentioned it to me and offered to help get Narsus here. Said his name was Capio, I think. Nice fellow. He really liked my hair. Oh, as you can see, poor Narsus is still <laughs> petrified. He is still petrified. Maybe? I wonder if anyone here can restore poor Narsus? He always dreamed of a statue. But I don't think this is what he had in mind. If not, I'm sure there's something in his notes. It's not the first time he's gotten into trouble, you know. I know Narsus can rub people at the wrong way, but I think that's just a part of his adventurous spirit. Right. Don't judge him too harshly. It's what allows him to make all those great discoveries. And also occasionally gets him turned into a statue. Yep. Yep, <laughs> that's the Nar Narsus friend. <laughs> okay. Nice party. I didn't know you were so famous. I was hoping to find a compassionate yet influential patron here to fund my research, but no luck so far. Don't worry, I won't try to wrangle funds from you. I'm much too indebted to you for that. Both tribes have shamans again, and they're letting me enter their camps to observe their crafting habits. I may have enough evidence to support my theories now. After this, I think I might branch into other groups. Reeklings, maybe. Who knows? I'm still thinking it over. But what happened at Grey's Hollow helped me understand the threat that ignorance and misinformation poses to all of Tamriel's creatures. If even a little scientific study can help us understand others, I should do it. Okay, that's nice. Citizens. I am still attempting to discern the meaning of the wisdom Athelia shared with me. But Baragon insisted that this celebration go on. I found myself unable to refuse him. I admit that I usually avoid such festivities, but this is pleasant enough. You do realize, Proxy, that the fabric of reality is a metaphor. A way to easily explain a concept that is nigh unexplainable. But to answer your question, yes. We have accomplished what Hermaeus Mora originally asked us to do, and preserved reality. I know she allowed me to briefly see the world the way she does. To gaze upon the many paths. For just a moment, I saw a path where Gadain still existed. It gave me hope. As for what I do with that, I am at a loss. We let Baragon carry out his plan. And we remember what we have accomplished in our time together. We defeated three princes. Periite, Vermina, and Athelia. We saved Necrom. We saved Westweald. We saved Apocrypha. We have done well. I'm glad you're back, friend. Now that the worst of things is over, I thought a celebration was in order, and Count Calantius agreed. Everyone should know what you did for Westweald. Cracked acorns? What you did for all of reality? Most certainly. But Laramil, Tribunalea, Scroot, Curate Gadain, and I probably wouldn't have accomplished what we did without you as our anchor point. And poor Gadain. I know he was a good friend to you and Laramil. And we'll honor him as well. All of us. We were up against threats I can barely comprehend, and we came out on top. If that isn't cause for celebration, I don't know what is. I still find it hard to believe, after all that, Athelia just surrendered. I've been all across Tamriel, even visited places off the continent. And I've been to Oblivion. 
but I can't picture what a completely different reality even looks like. I suppose it's sort of like when Aleia and I were trapped on the many paths. Right. And we're certain she's really gone. That she can't find a way back and start all this trouble again. What am I saying? Of course we are. Even Hermaeus Mora said so. Still, once Torvasad forced us all to remember, history changed. That's not something we're just going to forget. It will be interesting to see the ramifications of a new Daedric Prince. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. no longer here. It will change our views of the past. Yeah, and it's it's giving new Daedric Prince to the Pedesta to play with. Hey, I want to talk to the heroic mortal too. Baragon insisted on holding a celebration, but he refused every one of the suggestions I made. I'll have you know the ciphers consider me indispensable at all their social functions. Anyway, good work with the relics. The Great Eye is pleased. There was a lot more to it. The exact relics had to be placed precisely, and a spell provided by a Daedric Prince had to be cast perfectly at each location. While it will take reality some time to totally recover, existence is no longer in peril. Ah, oh, totally. They completely expelled every bit of Daedric energy contained within them to restore reality. Now they really are just a lamp, a map, and a sword. Well, not quite. While Hermaeus Mora appreciates everything you've done as Fate's Chosen, he told me he wants to speak to you one last time. Okay. Whatever is convenient, of course. So mingle, talk to your allies, then look for my master's portal. Not permanently, I don't think. I don't think. Probably just wants to reward you. The Great Eye knows how much you mortals appreciate shiny objects. But to be safe, I suggest you talk to all your allies first. Last farewells and all that. Mortal, Hermaeus Mora demands an audience when you finish talking to your allies. This portal will take you to him. When you are ready, I shall accompany you, Proxy. Okay. Let Armil come with us. Allow me to talk to Hermaeus Mora first, Proxy. So this uh, party was in other other expansions as well, but I wonder what happens now. Laramil, I summoned fate's chosen. Why are you here? Pardon the impertinence, but we have done everything you ask. Now I have a request, Prince of Fate. Help me understand what Athelia showed me. Ah, the many paths you seek the return of the mortal Gadain. It is within my power to do this for a loyal servant, but there will be a cost. Okay. It is done. One day, Lirame, you who are called the Wise. I shall claim my due for this little boon. Be prepared to pay the cost at that time. Okay, I that understand. doesn't sound and good. I now, leave us. Chosen of fate, approach. We will have words. Know that you have done everything I asked of you, and more, Chosen. You far exceeded my considerable expectations. Now, with reality preserved and set right, we have one last matter to deal with. Ithilia, the Prince of Paths, has been exiled from this reality, never to return. Now, I must once more remove her from memory. For the sake of existence, she must once more be forgotten. Okay, so he's doing the same thing that he did Not before. Everything. Everyone will remember that the mortal realm was threatened and that you saved them. What they will not remember is Ithilia. 
Miramore will be one more abandoned oblivion plane. And the name Ethelia will mean nothing. No. Consider that my parting gift to you. You and I shall remember Ethelia and her scions. The glory of Miramore. A reality that could have been. Now the contract between us is concluded. Return to your world with the thanks of the one who knows. Despite our vast differences, we do share one trait. Curiosity. Very well. Ask your question. And pray that my answers do not shatter your mortal mind. A hint of insolence lurks in that query. Are you convinced too deep of princes to change course? Do you doubt your own convictions? No matter. Ethelia has gone to a reality where she has no power. And you... Destroyed the only path between here and there. I am Erdedra, the one who knows. I see infinite possibilities arrayed before me, but not necessarily the final path. In you, I saw potential, but I could not determine how that potential would be realized. That is your power, mortal. Use it wisely. Mirror more and its denizens shall be known from this point forth. But who they were and who they served will remain a mystery. Now, they are masterless. They're plain a shattered ruin. Any that remain in your world will be dealt with or depart in time. No. Even if you try to remind them, they will not remember Ethelia. They cannot remember. You have proven yourself capable and worthy of my confidence. You and you alone shall remember. Interesting. Let my word go forth. Purge Ethelia from every mind in our shared reality, now and for eternity. No glyphics, no repressed memories, just you and I as the last witnesses to the existence of the Prince of Paths. We were bound by this threat to reality. Now we share this final secret farewell mortal okay that's that was interesting no not totally un unforeseenable but that's that's how the developers decided to wrap this uh, expansion okay party is over Ah no, it's 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 still going. People want to party even if they don't remember the reason. Ah, oh, he's back. One who knows spoke true. Laramil, friend, what's going on? The last thing I remember, friend, we were exploring an alien ruin, looking for something to stop. Hmm. The more I try to remember, the less I can recall. What happened to me, my friend? <laughs> Explain. I did what now? I fell into a pit of some sort? And Hermaeus Mora brought... <sighs> no matter. Since this seems to be a celebration, I take it we accomplished... whatever it was we were up to in that ruin. Well, that's good. I knew we could do it. Never doubted it for an <laughs> instant. I'm glad we won, my friend. And that we're all here to celebrate our victory. I see Laramil over there. You should go and talk to her. I'll join you in a moment. Friend, I'd like to say a few words about what we accomplished. 
One more moment, Baragon. I need to speak with our friend for... I knew you were special the moment I met you, Proxy. No. You are Proxy no more. You are just... my friend. We stopped Vermina and Periite. Defeated Torvasar. Saved Necrom and West Weald. But... I feel there was something else. Something important. Do not tease me with nonsense words, friend. I am just grateful that Gadain has been returned to us, and that the one who knows has given me one more reward to bestow upon you. Now let us allow Baragon to make his speech and celebrate our success. Our journey has reached a suitable conclusion, friend. A long rest is in order for all of us. Perhaps I can convince Curate Gadain to join me in exploring Apocrypha. I would like that. Uh huh. As for you and me, thank you for everything. <laughs> we can try to make her sure remember. I remember our adventures quite clearly. We saved Nern and Apocrypha from Rogue Dremora and a revived alien cult. And do not fear. I shall never forget that we accomplished all that primarily due to your actions. Right. <laughs> I believe some rest and relaxation are in order. I hope to take Curate Gadain away so we can get to know each other better. The Spear and Tarn can be quite lovely when the tome shells are migrating. The tome shells are migrating. A question I had not considered. But the paths I saw were possibilities, not other realities. I asked Mora to return my Gadain. I must believe that he did as I requested. In the end, does it really matter? Gadain has returned. And I am relieved. I should be thanking you. You were fate's chosen. I was merely along to guide you on your path. But what did you call it? A vacation? I am not sure I have ever had one of those before. Perhaps our paths shall cross again, friend. I hope so. Everyone, have you ever had a thought please. sudden? Let's celebrate not only our victories, but the heroic actions of our friend here. They defeated the rogue Dramora, Vargas and Torvasard, took down Nantherian, the false king. They saved Westweald, maybe the entire world. So raise a glass and shout a cheer. Thank you, my friend, for always doing what you do best. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's not it clapping. Was an honor to work by your side, my friend. Thank you for helping me stop the recollection and save Westweald, and everything else we wound up saving in the process. I'm just glad I got to throw this little celebration before you departed. You inspired me, friend. Put the adventuring bug back in my bonnet. I'll help deal with any remaining Daedra and recollection forces in Westweald. Assist with the Vashabar negotiations. After that, I'm sure I can find something else exciting. Ward Elves love their epithets. You've seen me use daggers. Someone called me that once and it stuck. At least until I retired and became a scribe. In fact, because of all the stories she heard growing up, Everly took the name Shark. Ah, okay, that, that explains. It was an honor. Have you ever had a thought suddenly slip away? It's frustrating. Like trying to grasp an eel with an oven mitt. Anyway, I'm glad I was able to attend this quaint gathering and show Skingrad's appreciation for all you've done. I believe we respect each other. We've reached an understanding and continue to refine the details of a treaty granting Bashabar land rights and trade agreements with Skingrad and the rest of Westweald. Public opinion could be our worst problem. It may take time for common folk to understand that not all Wood Elves are recollection, and that Vashabar had no idea Nantharian was responsible for the new forest. Opening trade and helping heal the devastation will go a long way in that regard. So basically, when people do not remember the Daedra, then they probably blame Wood Elves. Oh. oh, this was interesting. What? I was resting. 
Besides, you got along fine without me. I'm awake and materialized now because I never could resist a good celebration. That includes not a single other Telvani who was out to get me. Okay. So let's let's see. One interest point. Couple ruins. Uh, public dungeons. And sky shards. Couple library books. So I think there's still a couple. Couple adventures. Yeah, couple couple quests to do. But and lots of dailies if you want to do. But anyway. This is the end of the Cold Road playthrough. Ended with the high note. Uh, some people said that this was hard expansion to follow because it went pretty deep and it actually underlined some things we already suspected or knew from Elder Scrolls lore. So yeah, definitely nice and definitely playing on high stakes. I was surprised that Bethesda allowed Zenimax to go and at the new new Daedric Prince. That was pretty interesting. But apparently that wasn't in the red lines. And uh, we can we can see how the Zenimax has got like more and more respect and permissions from the Bethesda who do review all the all the uh, DLC plans uh, from the lore perspective so they are center of rough idea and then then they say yes and uh, talk, talk talk they don't have a lore master but they have several uh, work, uh, developers who actually know a lot of a lot of stuff go for a court Kurt for example is a, is a did write the uh, Vivex 35 Lessons of Vivex with, with the uh, Kirk, Kirk Bride. So yeah, lots of lots of throwbacks, lots of uh, possibilities of later storytelling. I don't see anything smoking gun in this uh, expansion that would allow the story to continue. But like they said, this ends the story of the that started with with the uh, with the uh, uh, Telvani Peninsula Necrom. DLC, uh, Apocryphon, and this. So, really interesting, interesting combination of things. Lots of new lore. Uh, Elder Scrolls is a, is a multiverse in the end. Well, you might like it or might not like it. So, definitely, definitely something to consider. But I like this because this went deep enough. It wasn't like a let's uh, play a vampire kingdom in the black reeds or something something like it was in a gray more and once again area is half based on the this part is based on the what what was in oblivion so they were brought a bit bit more locations to here so i, I I'm, I'm glad to see how this is this has been filled Alikir Desert is still like something uh, marsh, and there's like a uh, this this area that's mentioned, but is in, isn't uh, featured in the game. So, are they going to run out of space? Not yet, not for a long time. And expanding lore to the Oblivion realms, yeah. I like the direction of this uh, expansion, or at uh, least these two two expansions, which were connected. Uh, the plot seemed sensible enough, although not m these are not my favorite locations in this this game. Oh, uh, this is nice. This Westfield is nice, but. As for the problem, it's more, more like endemic problems with uh, any any other theme park MMOs, and this is a theme park MMO. Got, got to un understand that. For example, if you checked Eastmark and 
compa uh, check uh, check the Eastmarkin Skyrim and check the Eastmarkin Elder Scrolls Online. This is like a smaller smaller versions of that place. What I would like to see is uh, Redoran areas, house Redoran areas, which should be here. This map map isn't isn't quite cor correct. That would be like really cool if we get like a, one more more wind. And I was surprised that they didn't continue Telvani Peninsula over here. There's a Firefox, black, black light and black light and Firefox. So there's like still chances to write write new stuff here. Lots of uh, possibilities and High Isle was was to totally new new place seen in a map but not not uh, anything we didn't know anything about it so Genimax developers made their own thing and I like the version of Elder Scrolls they are doing so why why we, we need to f wait for the Elder Scrolls 6 is not the technology it's more like this has been good go going well and after five years of development uh, Zenimax decided to fix the client and the server code and or, or so jazz. So even if this was like a, many people were disappointed 10 years ago in 2014 about this game. Now this feels like a pretty solid package and huge amount of content. Uh, interesting stories. And that's, that's, that's the important. I don't know what's in store for this uh, MMO. It's still doing fine. And it's actually doing better than it was doing at the start. So no complaints there. So I'll end this board broadcast here. This was Elder Scrolls Online. This is like a third uh, DLC I'm playing. Playing uh, as a summer game. You can check the Deadlands and, and, and the ne Necrom. Uh, from my YouTube channel, if you if you want. So, I, I'm I'm think I'm running out of out of uh, things to things to say, but yeah, gotta log out now, and <laughs> maybe start thinking about, about getting some sleep, maybe. And weekend is going to be midsummer here, so I'm going to play retro games. Good thing we co got this wrapped. Nicely. Anyway, have a nice evening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. So, bid you farewell.